How's it going everyone? We're going to take a look at our last little video on text files here. This one's going to introduce you a nice command with a nice example. We're going to look at one command, the end of file command and end of line command. And we're going to make use of it in making a very simple level loader where when I hit the button, I'm going to load up the location of units, objects in my room and place them in the room. Um, it's not done in the most effective efficient, elegant way, but it's enough to get you beginners on your route to uh, using these commands. So let's take a look at this. When I hit the level one loaded button, I'm going to be loading a text file that looks something like this. Now let me make that bigger for you. I just kept it really easy here, but imagine this thing was just loaded with objects and locations. And so what I've done here is I've got a very simple format I'm going to use for this text file. This text file basically isn't using a list or a map or a grid. It's just going to use nice, simple words and numbers. So I'm basically recording. I want an Apple object at 400, 230. I want another Apple at 430, 260. I want a burger. I guess you get the point here, right? Object name, X position, Y position. Object name, X position, Y position. A very primitive way, but a way that works for beginners, no problem. Reading this text file and then placing the objects in. Now, one thing you notice about this text file, if this was actually for a room or a map you constructed, if you've saved it, you don't really know how long this file is, right? You may have, you know, 200 pieces in the room that get positions. So how exactly to know how many times to read unit type X and Y? Well, there's a nice command with text files which is basically the end of file or end of line command. And what you can do is you can use it to detect when you've hit the end point of the file. And when we hit the end of the file, we stop our loop. So let's take a look at that right here inside of the load level script. So when I hit load level, I have my standard open the text file and handle errors. If you haven't been watching any other videos, you know, you should go back. This is the last one in about a series of seven or eight uh, file reading writing videos and here we go here comes the command which is called file text end of file and you give it the file id so remember the file id is the id number you get back when you open the file for reading so what happens here is i've put this in a while loop the while loop is awesome for this because it basically says while not the end of file of that file do this now as long as our file genuinely has the structure uh, maintained properly what it's going to do inside this while loop as it keeps going is it's basically going to read a string so that's like apple it's going to read line to move to the next line in the file it's going to read a number read a number and then read a line so it's on the next line again now just to show what I got out of there right the food name the X position the Y position I print it out here in a little debug message and then this is the part that's a little sloppy but I just wanted to keep it easy uh, simple to understand is I basically ask if the food name is Apple this variable called make this which I just made up there gets set to O Apple okay the object I want made. If food name is burger, make a bur, you know, make this as burger. And you know, if you had lots of types of objects, you obviously keep that chain going. But you've done other stuff in this course, like arrays and lists and ID numbers. You can probably figure a more efficient way to do this part here. But the bottom line, the information is grabbed from the file line. And then I instance create at X position, Y position, whatever make this has been set to. This is the end of the loop here. And then the loop goes all the way back to the top and it asks if it's not the end of the file of that file, do it again. And it keeps going and going and going. And so it keeps cycling through. The nice thing with this end of file command is you don't have to know how many things are in the file. It's just going to keep reading and reading and reading. And if you structure your file so it has a nice little pattern like this, you know, it doesn't matter how long it is, right? And it's going to work. Now, just to show you that this does actually work, I'll just give it a quick run here. 
and just hit that load level button and you'll see it loads level one and that was basically it the apples and those burgers right you know and if you want to see them deleted load you know of course it reads the file and does it again and there's our debug info is there right what it was reading from the file and what it was making not too bad huh uh, common questions people have is uh, sometimes they ask oh, do I have to do all these separate lines no you don't I mean if you're a good programmer you could literally have all this information on one line personally I'd probably save it inside of a grid structure so I'd have names X positions Y positions health levels and stuff like that saved in there too go back to the INI file text file writing reading yeah, I'll give you the idea how to do that stuff um, some people ask well can I do it like this um, if you actually look at the way this text file is laid out this is actually maybe a little tricky because if you try to read a string here which a lot of beginners do try to attempt to do you go read string they think they're just gonna get Apple out but remember read string reads a string and this is all text so even though it's numbers to you this whole line is a string of characters it reads that whole line in as one thing um, can you still do it like this yeah you can still do it like that but you'd have to have knowledge of some string commands to hunt for the first space bar right and separate the apple off that line hunt for the next space bar separate the 400 from the 230 and certainly that's the kind of stuff they do with uh, network games when they send data they send it in chunks and you separate it and put it back together but uh, you know for this beginner stuff just to get you going and having fun with it you know that probably not the best format think of a format when you're designing this that you know is going to be really easy to pick apart okay even if it ended up being like this okay one item per line ah nothing wrong with that right when you're having fun programming okay thanks for watching hopefully that helps you and uh, now you've seen probably eight nine videos on this uh, text file stuff and INI file I think you have enough that if you need to save and load data, you should have no problem. I uh, do also highly recommend that you check out the other commands that are available in file saving just by going to Game Maker's Help Index here and you go to File Handling. What I've done is a few of the basics of INI files with you and a few of the basics of text files. So you can see there's a couple other commands there, you know, like append, you can add on to a file. Um, open from strings. You can detect if you're just at the end of a line instead of the end of an actual file. You know, some of them may be useful to you, right? And they have good examples in there. Thanks for watching. Have fun with the files. I know students usually love using them in their games. High scores, maps, levels, etc., etc. Enjoy.